All right, so seven ChatGPT prompts that can help you sell anything to anybody. All right, so the first prompt that we're gonna go over is a buyer persona. So this is gonna actually detail out exactly who your buyer persona is, who the ideal customer is, who is more, who is most likely to convert, to give you money, to pay you for your product or your service, all right? So this is the exact prompt I sell, insert your product or your service, right? A buyer persona for both male and female. Now, if you you know that, let's say you sell uh, a weight loss product geared towards women and you know that your customer is like 95, 98% women, you don't have to do the male and female buyer persona, just do a female buyer persona. But typically, uh, most people aren't aware that there are certain personas and they are different based on the gender. So this example that I'm gonna use is, I sell yoga mats, right? Right, a buyer persona for both males and females. All right, now we know that men and women both go to yoga, both buy yoga mats, and typically, yes, it is more geared towards women, and I'm sure more women actually do uh, spend more money on yoga, but there, you can't discount men from the equation because you know there are men that do do yoga, all right? So what this is gonna spit out is uh, the buyer persona, right? Uh, the name, his age, his occupation, his interests, right? His goals, his challenges. You really get inside and understand the buyer, the person that you should be communicating to, the person person that you should be talking to, the person that you should be uh, trying to sell and persuade to buy your, your products via email, via sales page, via advertising, whatever the case may be, all right? And then it gives challenges, right? Uh, limited time for exercise due to work commitments. Finding a yoga mat, yoga mat suitable for his body type and level of expertise. Right? What motivates him? How valuable is it to know the motivation behind your customers? Right. A lot of people aren't thinking about this when they're trying to sell a product, right, or s sell a service or start a business. Most of the motivation b behind a business is all about the business owner, all about me. What's in it for me? What's in it for me? No, it's about service. It's about serving your customer and knowing the motivation for them is extremely important, all right? Uh, maintain The motivation is maintaining a healthy lifestyle, improving overall well-being, reducing back pain caused by long hours of sitting, all right? Prefer preferred yoga mat features, extra cushioning, extra cushioning for joint support, durable, long-lasting material, non-slip service, all right? Communication preferences, prefer shopping online, researches products, product reviews and recommendations, uh, actively engages with yoga c communities on social media. All right, that's it for the male. Now, the female, Sarah Johnson, she's 28. She's a yoga instructor. All right, her interest, yoga, meditation, holistic wellness, sustainability. Her goals, all right, she wants to deepen her practice, promote eco-friendly products, inspire others to embrace yoga challenges. Beautiful motivations, personal growth through yoga, contributing a sustainable environment to a sustainable environment, connecting with like-minded individuals in the yoga community, right? How important is it to know this motivation and then include that in your copy, include that in your emails, include that on your website that, you know, you're not just buying a yoga mat for you, you're buying it and becoming part of a yoga community, right? That can be really game-changing for your conversions, all right? Preferred yoga mat features, all right? How, how, important is this to get into the mind of these customers all right now you can do this for whatever product or service or business that you have you just insert it uh, exactly where i tell you and i'm going to leave all these prompts in the description below for you to literally just copy and paste them into chat gpt to start using them for yourself all right number two is to identify the pain points all right we need to know what's going to motivate what's going to get people to take action what problem what pain that they are currently in and understanding that and knowing how our business how our service is going to solve that problem for them take them out of that pain if you don't know this you're not going to be able to sell anything to anybody all right you need to know what is going what is going through their mind right now and what pain they are facing, all right? So the prompt is this, identify and list the pain points of my ideal customers for my insert your products or service, all right? So this is the example, identify and list the pain points of my ideal customers for men's shoe lifts, all right? So again, with this product, it's a men's shoe lift, it's a, a lift that goes in your shoe that makes you taller. Now, you're not just selling a piece of foam that goes in a shoe, right? You're clearly not doing that. There's, there's something deeper within that. So with this prompt, we're gonna be able to find that out, all right? So again, I put that in, identify, 
uh, the pain points of my ideal customer for for men's shoe lifts, right? You're just gonna put your business, your your custom, uh, not, I'm sorry, not your customer, your product, your service into it. All right, so here are the pain points. And then this is what we're gonna use to uh, for our ads, for our copy, for our website, for our articles, for our any kind of advertising, any kind of copywriting, any kind of commun communication to your customers, to your potential customers, right? So the number one is insecurity about height, right? Some men may feel self-conscious or insecure about their height, especially in social or professional settings which, where height is perceived as an advantage, all right? How critical is to know that you're not just selling a piece of foam. You're, you're, selling, you're selling removing that insecurity about height. You're selling that confidence about height. All right, lack, lack of confidence, right? Clothing fit issues, right? Men who, who are shorter face challenges in, uh, in finding clothing that fits well as proportions may not be tailored to the height, all right? Professional advancement. These are the type of pain points that most people might not be aware of, especially if you're brand new into, into a business and you don't completely understand your customer. And it's completely fine to not understand your customer and to not completely uh, be in their minds, especially if you are not, if you if you don't experience that, right? Let's say you are a uh, a tall uh, model man that has never faced these uh, these issues you're gonna have a much harder time communicating. And that's where this prompt is gonna help you clarify who it is you're selling to and what exactly motivates them, right? Perfe okay, so professional advancements, right? Some men bel may believe that height plays a role in professional success and advancement. They may feel disadvantaged if they perceive themselves as shorter. All right, shoeless will help with dating. Uh, well, the pain points with shoeless and the problem it solves is dating and relationships, right? Height can be a factor in dating and relationships. Uh, uneven body proportions, limited shoe options, physical discomfort, lack of awareness or information, all right? So you're just gonna need to insert whatever it is, the products or ser services, you're gonna be able to spit out those pain points and clarify that in your marketing, in your advertising, right? Number three is benefits versus features. So showcase the benefits and features of my product X, which does Y to potential customers in a way that is clear and compelling, right? We wanna sell the benefits. Benefits versus features are very, very different. Most people talk about the features of, you know, a phone, right? They talk about, oh, it's this size, uh, this size screen, it, it has this many megapixels, you know, rather than the benefits of what's the benefit of owning it? Well, you're in quick communication with your loved ones. You could send pictures and videos of your kids to your, your, to their grandparents, right? You, this is the benefit. This is what gets people more motivated. People do want to know features, but they also want to know the benefits. What's in it for them? What is, the, how is this going to benefit my life, right? So the example, showcase the benefits and features of my product, a visibly young retinol cream, which reduces signs of aging to potential customers in, in a way that is clear and compelling, all right? So again, put in whatever it is, your product or your services that you are selling and insert it into this prompt to spit out the benefits and features, all right? So the benefits of a, a retinol cream and an anti-aging cream reduces signs of aging, clearly. Enhanced skin elasticity, improves skin texture, Bright, brighten and even skin tone, hydrate and nourish, all right? You should probably know this stuff, you know, if you've been in business for a while, you should know this stuff. But if you are just getting into a business, just getting started, this is really gonna help clarify a lot for you, all right? And then the features, right? High quality retinol, uh, gentle and non-irritating, fast absorption, paraben free and cruelty free, simple and convenient. Right, those are the features that is going to help you sell because this is the information that people want to know. If someone is searching an anti-aging anti -aging skincare cream on Google and you have a, a, a search campaign up, people want to know the benefits. They want to know the features of it, all right? Next one, tone of voice. So th this is where we get into the maybe uh, where most people aren't aware that, you know, this how important this really is in your communication in your marketing in your copywriting right we want to know the tone of voice that is going to connect with your target audience okay so obviously let's talk about the tone of voice with let's say comedians right a lot of comedians they're very harsh they're cruel they have a very uh i wouldn't say rude but they're very uh there's no filter 
right? That is a tone of voice that comedians use, let's say, as opposed to an industry where you have to be politically correct all the time, right? Let's say you're dealing with investors. You have to be very professional. You have to be very uh, clean cut, very upkept, right? This is the difference in the tone of voices with different industries, all right? Now, that might not be the best example, but we're going to see exactly what I mean when I insert this prompt. So what, to uh, what tone of voice, we're asking ChatGPT, what tone of voice will deeply, deeply connect with my target audience who is act actively se seeking sorry, product or service X, right? Whatever your product or service is. So the example is this. What tone of voice will deeply connect with my target audience who, who are actively seeking a cream to effectively eliminate dark circles under their eyes all right so if we're selling an eye cream that removes these dark circles we know we know the buyer persona we know the the benefits and features we know all this stuff but we need to know how to communicate with them right we can't be we can't be uh, a certain way we we can't talk to them in one industry a certain way and a different industry in a different way if they don't have the same tone of voice if the target customer does not want to be communicated to like that. So let's see what it spits out. So the tone of voice, the tone of voice that deeply connects with the target audience who's actively seeking a cream to effectively eliminate dark circles under, under their eyes should be empathetic, reassuring, and solution oriented. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that. Empathetic, reassuring, and solution oriented. So this is a tone of voice that we are going to include in our copy, in our advertising, in our marketing, in our emails, on our website, all right, in our product descriptions. Okay, we wanna use empathetic, reassuring, solution oriented. And we're gonna use these tones of voice for uh, any kind of copy that we are writing moving forward. Okay, we wanna know what is going to connect with them. That is where all these prompts come into play. What in the deepest level is gonna get us into their heads Make us help us understand what problems that, that they're facing and help us help us understand what will get them to act to get out of that problem or that pain that they're facing by purchasing our products or service. All right. So do that for your business, right? Insert your product or your service and see what tone of voice comes out best. Number five is terminology. I think a lot of people really, really completely forget about terminology in your industries. Now, if you are, I'm gonna be using this example a lot. If you're brand new to starting a business and you don't understand the terminology of a business, you are going to struggle, right? If you all of a sudden want to start a golf, uh, a golf coaching company or a golf apparel company or a golf, uh, whatever kind of company related to golf and you don't know the terminology related to golf, you've never played golf, you've never been out on the golf course, you never, you don't understand the game itself, you're gonna have a really hard time connecting with visitors and connecting with customers because there's a whole lingo, there's terminology, there are phrases, there's words that are used that golfers know. And if you don't include that to sell them, you're gonna have a hard time. So find out you know, what the common terminology is in your industry. So I'm just gonna write that in here. What is some common terminology used in the golf industry? Okay, what is your industry? Put that in, all right? so like. If you're new to golf and you're watching this video, you're gonna see that there is a lot of terminology that you might not be aware of, right? A birdie, a bogey, a par, eagle, uh, albatross, handicap, fairway, rough, green, tee, driver, right? All these these uh, these words, iron, putter, approach shot, sand trap, bunker, mulligan, slice, hook, all of these words should be used in your advertising, in your marketing, in your copywriting, in your emails, if you are selling a golf product, okay? Because the your target customer will already know what these words mean, all right? So again, just put that, put insert in your, your business, your product, and it's gonna spit it right out. Number six, creating a sales page. So you wanna create a sales page. You wanna create some kind of page that gets people to take action, right? Now there's a certain framework that I always recommend. It's problem, agitate, solution. This is a proven framework uh, that copywriters use. You can use it for you know a sales page, landing pages, opt-in pages, but for this example, I'm gonna use a sales page. Now the prompt is this, create a sales page for my product X that does Y. Use the problem, agitate, solution framework to craft a compelling message that drives conversions and persuades potential customers to take action. 
Okay, so the example is uh, I'm selling a, a course that teaches people how to make money selling products on Amazon FBA. And let me copy this. And also all of this, all these prompts, I'm gonna leave in the description below for you just to copy and paste them right into ChatGPT and start using them right away. Okay, so title, unlock your profit potential, right? This is a sales page. This is a page that you're gonna put on, let's say the internet or on your website or just a standalone sales page to get people to take action, to get people to buy something, to get people to opt in for something, to get people uh, to purchase a book or a course, whatever it is. Unlock your profit potential with Amazon FBA Mastery. Headline, discover the, the secret to building a lucrative online business by selling products on Amazon FBA. Start your journey to financial freedom today. Then it goes into the problem, right? What problem, what pain points is this person facing, right? This goes back to the pain point prompt that I showed you earlier. I think it was the second prompt. So are you tired of the nine to five grind, longing for financial independence and a freedom to live life on your terms? Do you dream of running a profitable online business but feel overwhelmed by the complexities Complexities of starting from scratch, or you get the point. This really digs into the problem, into the pain points that uh, your target audience is facing. And then it's going to agitate it a little more. It's going to make it more uncomfortable. So you, so by the the person that's reading this, they're at a point where they're at the agitate section, and they're like, "Ah, oh, I know that's my problem. Ah, oh, that really that that stings. I feel that. I don't like that. What's the solution? That's your automatic thought, and then the solution is buy my course." Okay, so agitate. Imagine the excitement of generating a steady uh, stream of income from the comfort of your own home without the headaches of inventory management, order fulfillment, or customer service. Envision the thrill of having a scalable biz online business that operates on autopilot, allowing you to reclaim your time and focus on what truly matters. Picture yourself confidently na navigating the intricate Amazon marketplace and covering untapped niches and launching profitable, profitable products that sell like hotcakes. These possibilities are within your reach, but only if you're equipped with the right knowledge, strategies, and tools. All right, that was more of a foreshadowing, uh, you know, what your future could be like, right? And then the solution. Introducing F Amazon FBA Mastery, your comprehensive guide, and pitching the product, getting them to take action, all right? And then it goes on and on about the benefits and call to action. Enroll today, all right? So you can do that with what you are selling and put that in. And what I would also recommend is go back to the tone of voice. So you can add even uh, into the, the sales page prompt, right? After right in a friendly tone of voice. Uh, you know, the, the eye cream was like an empathetic tone of voice, right? A solution oriented tone of voice. You could insert that in as a sentence into the prompt to make it uh, connect deeper with your target audience, right? So all you need to do is take that tone of voice that you got from the number four prompt, right? Number four, yeah, tone of voice, insert that into your sales page prompt, okay? And finally, number seven is objections. So when you're selling people, you need to know what are their pain points, but now that you've solved their problem, you've not necessarily solve their problem, but presented a solution to their problem, right? You know that this man is lacking confidence because of his height. You know that he wants to be taller, uh, right? And you present your offer of a shoe lift, right? There is a million reasons why he won't buy that second, right? We are busy. We are distracted. We have all these other things that are coming at us when we're online or wherever you're marketing. And all these reasons can hold us back. There's also internal reasons that can hold us back. And when we know those objections, when we know those things holding us back, we can tap into that to almost reverse, reverse the risk, reverse the objection and make it a positive and, and, and address the objection and let the person reading it know, hey, I got you covered. I know this is probably what you're thinking. Again, we're getting in their head. I know this is probably what you're thinking and here's why you should buy it now, right? Or I know you're probably thinking you don't wanna spend $39 on a, you know, foam inserts in your shoes, but here's what here's what this is going to do for you. Whatever the case may be. So uh, the prompt is this: address, address potential objections that customers may have about my product X, which provides Y, and provide compelling responses that overcome these objections. All right. So the example is addressing objections for my spray tan business, which helps people 
uh, look and feel great without damaging their skin and provide compelling responses to overcome these objections. All right. Now, I have never been spray tanning, but I, you know, some of the first, there are automatic objections that come to my head. So this is going to spit out maybe you're not thinking about these objections or maybe you're just not aware of these objections because maybe you've been spray tanning your entire life and you know hey this stuff is actually this this stuff is better for you it's healthier for you i don't need to talk about this but to the new customer it's important and it's going to hold them back so with knowing these objections it can be really critical for you to have in your arsenal to be able to sell someone and convince someone that hey spray tanning is actually for you i know you might be thinking this but Here's the response, and this is what ChatGPT is gonna spit out, all right? Objection, I'm concerned that spray tanning might like make my skin look orange or unnatural. Completely understandable, right? Uh, here's a response. We prioritize delivering natural looking sun kiss results that enhance your skin's beauty. Now I'm not gonna read all, throughout all this, but that's the perfect response. We specialize in making sure it looks natural and uh, it enhances your beauty rather than just looking like an orange, right? Objection number two, I've heard that spray tans can leave streaks or uneven colors. Response, we understand your concerns about streaking or uneven color and we take great care to ensure a flawless application. Our tech technicians undergo comprehensive training to master the art of spray tanning using, using specialized techniques that result in smooth, even coverage. It's like this is just chipping away at the objections, getting them closer to the sale. Objection number three, will spray tan tanning damage or dry out my skin? Completely understandable, right? Uh, I don't know anything about spray tanning. So this is like, th these all make sense to me, these objections. All right, our spray tanning process is specifically designed to provide a safe and hydrating experience for your skin. All right, we use top of the line solutions enriched with nourishing ingredients that promote hydration and moisturization. Perfect. Objection, I'm worried about the potential health risks associated with spray tanning. Uh, your health and well-being are are our uh, well-being are out of uh, sorry utmost important to us utmost importance to us. Jeez, uh, we exclusively use high-quality FDA-approved tanning solutions that are safe for your skin. Perfect. Uh, objection. I'm unsure how long the spray tan will last and it will fade eventually. We strive to provide long lasting results, even fades that allow you to enjoy your tan for an extended period of time. All right. So do you see how critical, how important this can be to your, your entire arsenal of sales, of conversions, of getting people to take action, right? You, by using these, these seven prompts, you should have everything you need to know about your customer, about what moves them, about what motivates them and get inside their head and get them to take action to get out of pain, whatever that pain may be, right? So I hope this video was really helpful for you. Uh, I hope it was clear, informative. If you did like this video, you're gonna like these two also. So make sure to check them out. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.